When analyzing an oscillator's motion, we work with the differential equation derived from a Lagrangian that describes the forces acting on a particle. In simple cases, we can guess solutions to describe this motion, but as we add damping, periodic forcing, and nonlinearity to differential equations, we are quickly left with numerical methods that don't shed immediate light on the behavior. By visualizing the particle's motion from an energy perspective, we can supplement our mathematical understanding of differential equations with physical intuition. To do this, we'll first observe characteristics of familiar systems to assist our visualization of a double well potential. We first start with a generic simple harmonic oscillator. For the simple harmonic oscillator, we see that the particle is trapped within the potential well given by the equation 1 half kx squared. We note that there are no force vectors acting on the particle. This is because the simple harmonic oscillator is neither damped nor driven. Due to the absence of forces acting on the particle, we see that the energy of the system is constant. This is illustrated by the red bar intersecting the potential well. By adding damping to the system, we see that the particle is acted upon by a dissipative force proportional to and in the opposite direction of the particle's velocity. We note that in the animation, the energy only decreases when the particle is in motion. This decrease in energy translates to the exponential decay of the particle's motion shown in the graph on the right. By periodically forcing the particle, we can both increase and decrease the particle's total energy. According to Dr. Bill Case in his article on pumping a swing, if we drive a simple harmonic oscillator with a frequency very close to its natural frequency, the particle's amplitude increases linearly with time. By looking at the position graph, we observe that this indeed does happen. However, we can also see that the energy of the system continues to increase indefinitely as the driving is always in the direction of the particle's movement inside the well. Due to this, the particle can climb higher and higher up the potential well. Periodic forcing can also take energy away from the particle. We know that when the drive frequency is close to the natural frequency, a force simple harmonic oscillator produces beats due to the constructive and destructive interference of the two frequencies. During constructive interference, the force adds energy into the system as the particle's motion and the force are relatively in phase. As time goes on, the motion and forcing are out of phase, and the driving acts as a dissipative force that takes energy out of the system. By combining the effects of damping and driving, we find that energy is indefinitely being added to and taken out of the system. This is apparent in the obvious cases where periodic forcing is higher or lower than the natural frequency. As we can see, energy changes position rapidly even once the particle reaches its steady state. A somewhat more ambiguous example is when the particle is driven at resonance. Once in the steady state, the energy remains constant. However, this is due to the average energy gained and the average energy loss due to damping canceling each other out. What we learned from the simple harmonic oscillators can now be applied to nonlinear systems such as the duffing oscillator illustrated by the double well potential curve. This well is a useful model for real world systems such as a ferromagnetic beam positioned between two magnets while undergoing lateral forcing. It is also an approximation of a driven oscillator moving in one direction with two springs. While the system is chaotic, it can and does under the right initial conditions exhibit period doubling, which is a precursor to chaos. Once the transient has decayed and the particle settles into its steady state, the particle initially undergoes periodic motion. As the specific parameter is varied, the motion with period t alters into a motion with period 2t. We see in this animation that once the transient is died out that the particle undergoes period doubling. Period doubling is rather straightforward inside the potential well. As the particle both loses and gains energy, we see that the total energy blocks the particle from jumping into the adjacent well. In addition, we can see that the energy alternates between two spots on the potential curve as the particle approaches the origin. If we were to continue to vary this parameter, we would experience a period doubling cascade until eventually the parameter reached a critical point in which the particle showed no signs of periodic motion, also known as chaos. Another feature of the double well potential is that it exhibits amplitude jumps. An approximate description of the oscillator's amplitude with respect to the square of the driving frequency is given above.
We see that if the oscillator is driven at a low initial frequency and is gradually increased, the amplitude will initially also increase until, at some critical frequency, the amplitude jumps down to a drastically diminished amplitude. However, if the drive frequency, which is now relatively high, is gradually decreased, then the amplitude never regains its initial magnitude. This is analogous to a car driving on a bumpy gravel road. The two numerical solutions superimposed on the graph above illustrate the difference between an oscillator driven at a relatively low frequency and an oscillator driven at the same initial but gradually increasing frequency. In our double well animation, we observe that before 500 seconds, our particle has a vastly varying magnitude of energy, which corresponds to large and sporadic jumps from well to well. However, right around 500 seconds, the driving frequency passes some critical value and the particle is almost immediately trapped inside the single well, where it stays indefinitely. While the energy still varies, the height of the energy bar is drastically reduced as the high frequency of the driving prevents the particle from gaining any significant amount of energy.